What is going on, my fine folks of YouTube? This is MK The Truth, D O D B E N T. I wanted to quickly talk about the sneaker shopping episode with T.I. Now, I want to do something a little bit different on the channel going forward. We talk about some fits, some sneaker choices, and maybe some things that they actually talked about on the show. Now, let's get this started with the fits. Now, T.I. and Jola Puma. Jola Puma always keeps it simple. Kind of reminds me of myself. Uh, he keeps it clean with this regular shirt, you know, some khaki, some nice little pants or something, but he bangs it out with the sneakers. Now, T.I. has on like some stacked army pants with a brown shirt and a jean jacket now i wouldn't have necessarily flushed this outfit out with the jordan 12s but to each is on he looks pretty cool but like i said i just don't think it really works with the jordan 12s do like the bucket though we'll get to that in a minute the jordan 12s i think this is a kind of outfit that you might want to flush out I, I hate to say it with some Travis Scott's. Uh, Travis Scott does the mocha thing. He has like the mocha thing going on with the jean jacket and the army pads. That's what I would have chose. Now the Fendi bucket is pretty dope with the locks hanging out the bottom and the Cartier glasses. I have really curly hair so I you know wear my hat to the back and always my, my curls will be flying out the back or sometimes out the front. That's a really good look. I do like that bucket. Not really necessarily onto Fendi like that. I'm not like a, I've never liked the F so what Fendi does. Anyway he says in the video that um, he acquired a collection for $7,500 and within that collection it was about 20 pair of sneakers and within that it had the Air Mags. Y'all think this cap is Capadonna <laughs> I know some people I had to talk about this because I know some people probably call him cap on that particular thing that he said. I mean, you never know, depending upon how long ago it was. You never know somebody that's pretty much that only shoe was worth i think even like 10 years ago i thought i could be wrong anyway he spoke on the yeezy 2 red october said it is one of the dopest sneakers ever made probably the dopest sneaker ever made i don't agree with that and then i do i think it is one of the best sneakers i don't think it's necessarily the best sneaker ever made because it's all red but hey opinions are opinions anyway y'all let me know what you think about this episode down below y'all think he capping about the mags might want to get those checked this is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. I'm about here.